Hello and thanks so much for clicking on my video. Welcome to my channel, Lovely Moments Creating. My name is Jenny and I'm going to get started on the first two DIYs. In today's video, I am going to be creating DIYs using the wood planks from the Dollar Tree. For my first two DIYs, I have two of those larger planks and I'm going to be using two of these smaller planks. I am just removing the tags. Now, to make this even more budget friendly, you could have just bought a third larger plank and cut that in half. Um, but I already had a bunch of the, the different sizes, so I just grabbed two of the larger and two of the smaller ones out of my stash. And I'm also going to be using um, some tumbling blocks from the Dollar Tree as well. Now I've seen these wood lights before and I knew I wanted to create me a pair on a budget and I just think they came out really cute. I'm using one of these nail files from the Dollar Tree just to smooth out any rough edges. And then what I'm going to do is take my tumbling blocks and I'm going to start off by attaching two together and I am going to do four sets of twos. I will be using some wood glue with these projects today as well because I want everything to be nice and secure. So I will use a combination of wood glue and hot glue. So once I have all four of my sets together, I am going to attach two sets together. And so I'm going to add the wood glue and then I'll add some hot glue and just stack these on top of each other. Now you can add more tumbling blocks if you want more space in between your two planks and you will see what I mean when I connect these all together. So now what I'm going to do is take those two smaller square planks and attach these tumbling blocks. And I'm not gonna attach them all the way at the bottom but close to the bottom and you can see exactly where I'm going with these. And I'm just going to use some wood glue and some hot glue for this. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I want these to be nice and secured. So once I have those two pieces attached, then I am going to attach these to the larger planks. I want to take a moment to say Happy Mother's Day in advance to all of you. I hope you in Enjoy your Mother's Day weekend doing whatever makes you happy, even if that includes relaxing, which is what I hope to do. So now that I have that done, I am going to take some wood glue and some hot glue and attach it to the larger plank. And I will be attaching this to the bottom to where my planks are lined up with each other at the bottom. And when I mentioned, if I mentioned earlier, that if you wanted more space, I think I did, if you want more space in between your two planks, then you would just add more tumbling blocks. And that's because I will be adding lights to, the, to these. And if you're gonna use the Dollar Tree push lights, they are a little thicker. So you need enough space to turn them on and off and to pull um, the back off. I mean the front of the light off so you can change the battery pack now I found this on clearance this is the all-american wood stain it was six dollars and it, uh, it has the wood stain plus the poly and I thought this was a deal and I absolutely love this color so what I'm going to do is stain both of these using that and so I'm not going to stain the back of these because the back is unfinished I mean, you can stain it, but I'm going to be using some of those cork sheets from the Dollar Tree to cover the back of these. So I don't have anything hanging on my walls coming down my stairs. And so I wanted to add some night lights there so I don't have to turn on the bright light. And I was shopping around, but I thought, let me create something really simple. And I love wood. Um, decor and so I thought um, this would be great and also it's budget friendly so this is how they turned out really pretty and I'm going to grab those cork sheets so I can finish off the back and these are the sheets from the Dollar Tree they are peel and stick but I am going to be adding some hot glue 
for extra security because um, this wood on these planks are pretty thick so you can screw in a hanger you can create a jute hanger but I like to use command strips because I like to be able to change up my, up my decor without damaging my walls and anytime I'm making decor that's not too heavy the command strips do pretty good they don't do good if you're hanging up something really heavy but these are not that heavy and I just make sure I add two command strips and it always worked great for me so now I'm just going in with some hot glue and then I'm just going to peel off the back and place it right down I just kind of measured it by hand and then just cut around the excess and I did that to both of them and this is how it looked and the backs look nice and finished. Now I'm gonna grab my lights. Now I didn't have any of the push lights from the Dollar Tree, but I did have this pack here from Walmart and I believe it was $4.98. These are a little flatter, so that's why my distance between my two planks work for these. But if you was using the Dollar Tree, I don't know if they're as bigger, you may wanna add an extra tumbling block. So these are peel and stick as well, but I didn't add any hot glue to the first one, but I may add to the second one. Um, and I just wanted to double check that I had enough space to turn it on and off and pull it out or take the back off. And it was actually perfect size for these. And now what I'm going to do is add my command strips and I'm gonna be using two, one closer to the top and one closer to the bottom. Um, that gives it enough stability to stay on the wall nice and secure. So I've been wanting to make these wall lights. I've seen these before, but I know people usually go to like the hardware store and get wood cut and stuff like that. So I was really excited that I was able to use some of the Dollar Tree wood to create these. And I absolutely love how they turn out. They are the perfect size. Moving along to the next DIY, I'm gonna be using a pack of these square wood planks from the Dollar Tree and you get six in a pack, but I'm only going to be using five. This is a really, really quick and easy DIY. Um, and I think it came out really cute as well because it looked high end. Now what I'm going to do is take four of these squares and push them together. And then what I'm going to do is take that fifth one and add it in the middle. And that's going to hold all of these square planks together. So I'm going around with a generous amount of wood glue, but I'm going to spread it out with my foam brush so want no glue drip through. And then I'll go in the center and add some hot glue. Then I'm going to place it right in the center to where I'm connecting all four of these wood planks together. And then I'm going to be using the same color wood stain that I used in the previous DIY to stain this. I will actually be using that color in all of my DIYs in today's video. So I'm just gonna go in and brush on this wood stain and I will be um, staining the front and the back of this piece. And this is another piece that's very lightweight. So I will be using a command strip to hang this on the wall as well because this is um, a wall decor piece. Now this decor piece was really budget friendly because I was able to use one pack of these planks and I'll be using another item from the Dollar Tree as well. Now I do have more Dollar Tree plank DIYs, but I didn't want to make this video too long. So I will be making a part two video using Dollar Tree planks. Now I am going to be using a command strip to hang my sign but you can use some jute cord to create a hanger, or you can also string some of these pretty beads from the Dollar Tree. I love that color on some jute cord and create a beaded hanger. And I think that will look pretty as well. This is very lightweight, so my um, I'll just be adding one command strip right in the center. Now to add to my sign, I have one of these LED 
candles from the Dollar Tree. And what I'm going to do is just remove the plastic off of this and I'm going to add a little jew cord around this as well. And I believe I'm going to go back and make a second one of these because I think these are one of those decor pieces that look great in a pair. As you can see, I'm just wrapping the jew cord around the center of this candle and I just want to create a messy look. Then I'm going to take some hot glue to tack everything down. After I cut off the excess cord, I am going to take some hot glue to attach this to my little wood sign. Now you can have it this way, but I'm going to have it like the diamond shape way. And what I'm going to do is just add some hot glue along the back side and I'm going to press it right down and make sure that it connects and the on and off button is at the bottom so that made this DIY really great and then I'm going to add my command strip hang it on the wall and I absolutely love how this turned out as well Now for my next DIY, I'm going to be using one pack of the rectangular wood planks. And these are the longer ones and I'm only going to be using um, five out of this pack. Now this is another simple and easy DIY. Now I have created this DIY several times, but I always give this away. So I am going to be attaching two of these together. I'm just getting them lined up and I'll be using some of these craft sticks from the Dollar Tree, tree to attach it. I'm gonna take one whole one and add the glues and add it right in the center where the two, two planks meet. And then I'll cut down another one of the craft sticks to cover up the remaining space at the top. And I'm going to be doing another set just like this so I'm going to take two more of these wood planks and attach them together using the craft sticks as well this is another simple very simple and easy DIY but I love how it turned out and as I mentioned I have created this several times and I always tend to give it away <laughs> to someone who comes over and likes it so now for that fifth plank, I'm going to attach these two to the side. And I'm sure you could tell by now, I'm just creating a wood napkin holder. I am going to be using these tumbling blocks to give um, these wood planks some security when attaching them together right um, at the bottom. And I'm using wood and hot glue for that. And I'm going to make sure that I add a little hot glue at the bottom as well to make sure it's secured at the bottom and on the side while I'm pushing it up against the standing plank. And I'm going to do the same thing to this middle piece. And then I'm going to add my other set of planks and connect it on the other side using another three tumbling blocks. Now, I've created one in the past, and on the front of it, I stenciled on a, like, farmhouse kitchen, and I did another one. I don't remember what I put on the front of that one, but this one I'm going to leave as is once I stain it, and I will be using that same color stain that I've been using in today's video. So once I get my last tumbling block added, that is going to be it for that, and then what I'm going to do is go in with that stain and stain this entire piece. So I'm definitely going to be doing a second video using wood planks because in the past I created a paper plate holder using these wood planks as well. And that was definitely something else that I ended up giving away. And now I would like to create me another one. 
So I'm just going to make sure that I stain the inside, the outside, and all around this piece. I think this color stain is so pretty and I'm glad I was able to get that nice size from Walmart on the clearance. So once I have that complete, that is it for this DIY. This is how it turned out. I'm going to add some napkins to it. I think this color is so pretty. So for this next DIY, this is really simple. I'm taking one of those square planks out of the six pack from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to use that stain and just stain the front and the back. This is really simple. I have definitely done this in the past. It's just a quick and easy way to create a nice high-end coastal or riser for your home. Now I love that Dollar Tree put out those really pretty beads because I absolutely love that color you do not have to paint them and what I'm going to do is add these around this plank now what I'm going to do first is take a bead and add it in each corner and these bead colors match the wood plank pretty good after I stained it so I'm going in to add the ones in each corner first and then in between each um, bead, I'm going to add one in the center. And I'm going to do that all around. And then after I add one in each center, I'm going to go and add in two more on each side. And so I'm just going to go in and add one on each side of the middle bead. And that is going to be all of the beads so once I do that side I'm going to add two more all around and I do it that way just so I can have an even amount of beads on each side and the spacing could be equal and that is it I'm actually going to add one of my candles to this and as a little riser but I can also use it later as a coaster Thank you all so much for tuning in and watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I did. If so, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you here. As always, in the comment section below, let me know which one of these DIYs were your favorite. And until next time, my sweet friends, stay safe so that I can see you in the next video. Oh, and once again, happy Mother's Day to everyone.